Hello, so this is second part of uh, the tutorial for the 2D top-down game in Unreal Engine 5. And uh, in this part we will learn about character movement and animations. So in the end uh, our game will look like this. The character will be able to move and uh, basically rotate based on the direction of the movement. And uh, also stay still in idle mode when there is no movement. So at first we will create the animation source and call it AS Hero, like animation source hero, and open it. Animation source allows us to group the flipbooks into animations and later use these animations uh, in our character. So let's click the new, add new button, create new animation and rename it, it to idle and this will be our idle animation. Animations can also be multi-directional, so you can define flipbook for each uh, direction where the character is moving. So let's click the multi-directional sequence and uh, choose the animation for idle up, idle right, idle down and idle left. That's all for the animation source. Now we will move to the animation blueprint. So let's start by creating the animation blueprint by opening the context menu, choosing paper ZD and paper ZD NMBP and choose the animation source hero as our source. Let's name the animation blueprint as ABP hero, like animation blueprint and uh, open it. And here you can see that we have uh, two parts there, event graph and animation graph. From the event graph, we can remove everything because we don't need it right now. And we will open the animation graph. The animation graph defines what animation will be set for our character in which situation. We will describe this behavior by state machine. So right click at empty space and choose the add new state machine and call it locomotion. We also have to connect the state machine, like the result of the state machine to the output animation. So it's clear to animation blueprint what animation should be played in the end of the state machine. Now we can open the state machine and uh, define our first state there. So the out state is the first state uh, and we can transition to different state from that. So let's create a new state. Let's connect it to the out state and uh, this will be our idle state. So let's rename it to the idle and we can open the idle state. In the idle state, we want to play our idle animation. So add the play idle action. And we also want to ensure that the uh, animation has the right direction. So if you remember previously, we have created flipbooks for idle up, idle down, idle right, and so on. And here we want to choose the right uh, flipbook uh, based, on the, uh, based on the rotation of the character. And we will do that by adding the set directionality action and connecting it to play idle on the one side and the output animation on the other side. So it will basically choose the right animation from the animation source. What we want to do now is to actually get the velocity of the character, which is the direction where the character is moving. So to do that, we at first have to get the character itself because Right now we are in the animation blueprint and we have to find out the character from the animation blueprint. So we choose the get owning actor action and uh, this will return our basically character. And uh, from that we will choose its velocity. So that's like get velocity action. The set directionality input is actually 2D vector while the get velocity is 3D vector. So we will right click the input vector and choose the split struct pin and also right click the return value vector and choose the split struct pin. And we will now connect the X and Y values because we do not care about Z value because we are doing like 2D top down game. So there is no Z. So if we try to run the game right now, we will see that actually nothing changed and uh, it seems that it doesn't work. And like there is one additional thing we have to do, we have to go to the uh, top down character and set the animation blueprint there. So it changes the flipbook. So we will do that by adding the paper that the animation component and uh, opening it. 
and uh, we have to choose the animation blueprint hero as the anim instance class and uh, the paper flipbook as render component ref it's basically pointing to the flipbook the animation blueprint will be changing now if you run the game you will see that we are almost there but not there yet and uh, the character is changing the animation but uh, the direction is wrong if you check the axis diagram on the left down part of the screen you will see that the axes are swapped you know the x axis and y axis are swapped so that's basically the reason why we see this behavior because our animation source uh, has those four images to up down left right and uh, the axes are here like swapped so it's choosing the wrong uh, image wrong flipbook sorry so we have to also swap the uh, axis in our animation blueprint so let's open the animation blueprint and use control and left click to drag the uh, drag the lines from x to y and from y to x and try to play it again and now you can see that the character is moving to the right direction but there is another issue you know if the character stops it always looks right so we want to change it so it looks to the direction where it was moving we will do that by storing the last value of velocity in variable and using that in the animation blueprint so let's go back to the animation blueprint and open the event graph in the event graph we want to add the event on tick event which is an event which runs on every frame we can then copy and paste the logic from the animation state to get the velocity and uh, run it from the event graph in that event on tick event so let's move things around and let's recombine the uh, struct pin back to the vector because we want to store the vector in the variable and we will drag the line from the written value of get velocity and use the promote to variable action to actually store it in the in the variable we also need to connect it to the event tick event so it's uh, stored on every game tick and the last thing is renaming the variable to uh, last velocity so now we are storing the velocity in that variable on every tick but uh, we actually want to store it there only if the character is moving because if it's staying in idle the velocity is zero and uh, also the last velocity would be zero and therefore the animation uh, we choose later would still be the right one while we want it to stay the same as, as previous direction so if the character was moving up we want to keep the up animation when idle and and so on so to get the speed of the character we will use the vector length action of the uh, get velocity return value and this basically computes the the length of the vector which is our speed and uh, we also want to store it in the variable so we will do the same thing use the promote to variable action and call it speed and we also want to connect the promote to variable action to even on tick on one side and the another promote to variable on the other side so now we have the speed variable but we still are setting the last velocity variable on every tick so we have to make a branch there to actually set the last velocity variable only if the speed is not zero so let's add the branch action there and make some space for the condition then we can add the greater operator and connect the speed value to it and the keep keep the last value to zero and connect the output of this operator to the condition and don't forget to actually call the branch action by connecting the white lines so now on every tick we are computing the speed of the character and uh, if the speed is greater than zero we are setting the last velocity variable the missing piece is to actually use this last velocity variable in the idle state in the state machine so let's switch to the idle state and uh, use the last velocity there instead of the previous computation so simply remove the previous computation and uh, drag and drop the last velocity vector value there and uh, split the struct pin again 
and connect the x to y and y to x and uh, we should be done so when we run the game right now we should see that the character still rotates properly but if it's not moving it keeps the rotation now we will add the walking animation let's open the sprites and let's click the import button to uh, add our walking animation so in the vault directory import all the files there all the images there we have to select all of them and right click on them and select sprite actions and apply to the texture now we will do the same but instead of apply to the texture we will choose create sprite to create the animation we have to right click on the four images and click on the create flipbook and we can name the flipbook as fb hero walk down depending on the uh, direction of the animation and we will repeat these for all those animations so in the end you should have four flipbooks one per each direction now let's go to the animation source hero and we will add the walk animation there you can do that by clicking the add new and uh, choosing new animation sequence renaming the sequence to walk and on the right side we have to uh, click on the multi directional sequence and simply add the walk animation uh, for all the directions so the up one the right one uh, the one for the down and also the one for the left we can check the animations are set correctly and uh, we are done in the animation source now we can go back to the uh, animation blueprint hero and uh, actually add our animation to the locomotion so let's open the locomotion and uh, add new animation state there called walk we need to add transition between idle and walk states so the game knows uh, when to start playing the walk animation and uh, now we can click on the walk uh, state to edit it in the walk state we will simply add the play walk action to uh, play our walk animation as we said it in the animation sequence and we also have to call this set directionality to uh, choose the right uh, direction of the animation don't forget to connect all the pieces together and uh, now we have to again use the uh, get last velocity uh, vector to choose the right uh, input for the uh, set directionality and we will again connect x to y and y to x so we are done in the walk animation but we have to still do the transition between idle and walk to do this go back to the locomotion and open the idle to walk transition the transition should return true if the transition from idle to walk should happen we want to play the walk animation in case the character is moving that means when its uh, speed is not zero so let's uh, get the speed and let's add the uh, greater operator and connect the speed to it to compare whether the speed is greater than zero and return that as a transition variable so that's all for the transition from idle to walk but we also need to add transition from walk to idle so let's add new transition from walk to idle and edit it and here we will do the very similar thing we will just check whether the speed equals zero so let's get the speed let's uh, get the equal uh, operator and if the speed is zero we know that it's not moving anymore so we will switch to the idle animation we can now start the game and uh, indeed the uh, walk animation is played and the character moves as expected so that's all for today and in the next video we will be working with tile maps we will create this nice map for our game and the character will be able to move around and uh, respect the collision detection so that's all for today thanks for watching and please subscribe it will help me a lot and uh, see you next time bye